I think it translates in that I have a better sense for uh, time and when things happen and being able to explain things to students, um, the history. Uh, since I've been back, I've learned even more. I might be another grant. There's a science museum in Paris that's absolutely awesome. Um, so I think being able to explain to kids um, that history and how things work and um, for example, one of the things that I talked to Robert about was his Rose engine, which is, is a very complex device, and, I, and the kind of the timeline between when that particular device was made and what we do now. And so, for instance, the, the design that's on the end of this, he did on the Rose engine. Today we do it on a CNC machine. So, I think it's having sense for the technology and how it's changed and, and uh, I don't know, it, it, it's just a, it's, it's being able to relay the experience. You said you put that thing on, on more modern. Yes, the, this on one. an old fashioned flute in that picture? This one? No, yeah. The one that's on this, no, that's a modern flute. Oh. Uh, so that's on a modern flute and this is on, this is a, uh, this is, Robert's written, uh, I think, four books on the history of musical instruments, and this is a, um, a, a copy of a Bruno and Cart flute, and uh, people who play Irish music like these, so he makes a lot of these. And I, actually, it's, it's funny because um, a lot of the people that come uh, have no background in making anything when they take his classes, and I kind of do. So I got through everything. I got through everything in three and a half days that he would normally do in probably two weeks. So, and I actually got to help him make some tools, which was fun. He's on our AP student. 